One of the most important yet overlooked techniques in a mix is your low end cleanup. Creating space for all your low end instruments starts with removing frequencies from other elements in your song that are clouding the mix. In this song, I'll show you how to use simple high pass filters, brick wall EQ, and adjust the relationship between your kick and your bass. These techniques will work well with any DAW and any similar plugins that you have. So let's dig into some of the instruments that may be taking up some low end that don't need to, things like hi-hats, so we can make room for the kick drum and the bass. So I'll add a little low cut here. Take out what's unneeded. This is the information we don't need in this snare. Let's see what else might be doing that. Just a little bit down here that we'll clean up. Not much, we'll just get rid of some of that rumble. I will probably like to keep some of this low end on this synth, but we could clean it up a tad. So if you have a lot of instruments taking up that low end space that don't need to be, you're clouding your mix by clouding the drums and the bass and the kick drum, even simple high end things like hi-hats where your tons of bleed of the subs from the kick drum are bleeding into the hi-hat mic. And you can easily just filter those sounds out, which gives you a lot more room for your kick drum or your bass. So another great technique that I use for low end cleanup is something called brick wall EQing. So we'll go here and we'll add a simple EQ. We'll go to low cut and we'll change the slope to brick wall. Now this is stopping any low end past the selected frequency. We go to 25 Hertz. There'll be no information below 25 Hertz. This is great use for things like subs and 808s. Let's listen. So you can immediately hear that the bass just feels a lot tighter. You're not getting that floppy sound at the end of the bass. And what you could also do if you want to bring back some of that information, you could find the fundamental frequency or somewhere that you would like to boost in the sub and add a little bit of a dynamic EQ. Bring some of that back. And you can also go downward with it. So if you're getting too much low end still in that fundamental spot, we could take a little bit away. I think we like it better. Do a boost it here. Do a little bit more. Now this allows us to clean up some of that floppy low end, but also make the bass feel a lot stronger in context with the rest of the song and the rest of the low end. Another thing to consider is the relationship between your kick drum and your bass drum. You want to check the lengths to see if you can clear up a little bit of space in the low end there too. So let's solo the kick drum along with the bass here. So what I'm hearing here is the length of the kick drum on the low end is just a little little too long, not too much. So we'll add a transient designer to fix that. We'll take the sustain out a little bit. So you could hear that we're getting a little bit more clarity in the low end because our kick drum isn't interfering as much with our bass. Now after adding the transient designer, it sucked a little bit too much low end out. It shortened it, which was nice. But let's add a little bit more low end back in just to save some of that. Any EQ will do this. Let's add a little bit of 56.
These are just a few ideas for removing the hidden low end frequencies so that your bass and your drums and other low end instruments can really speak.